What is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joking Jossie Four here, bringing us some Black Ops Three gameplay. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed because today I got for you guys some kill confirm on Combine. And another thing is, it is kind of similar to the one on Thursday, but this person, whoever did this gameplay, I'm telling you, he did a good job, or she, whoever it is. <laughs> so, anyways, yeah, this person. The reason why I think this person is really good is because he chose an automatic weapon on a small map. Like, really, on the one on Thursday. I told you guys I was kind of upset about it because this person was using a three round burst and you're not supposed to do that when it comes down to small stages unless, you know, this is the only time that you get to use a small, like a three round burst weapon or a single shot weapon on a small map. Unless you're camping, then you will be able to use those kind of weapons because you will mostly stay in the back and maybe head glitch a little bit or maybe like stick in the corner like from a certain range and you know that's the time that you get to use the three round burst but never ever ever use it as a Russian weapon I'm telling you I got like six years in this franchise and I'm telling you in my experience the freaking three round burst never work when it comes down to Star Rangers maybe like around 20% of the time but you'll get lucky it has to be by luck it can't be like a, oh because I'm pretty well skilled and I can turn real quick now I'm telling you you will get those head markers from short range most of the time so um, another thing that I noticed about this gameplay is that, that there's not a lot of jetpack using or execute using in this game you know I'm not sure how people are calling it but I'm just gonna say it's called jetpacks because it seriously does not have a name on why we jumping like 10 feet high so all I'm gonna say is exosuits you know maybe exosuits or jetpacks I'm not sure but I've noticed that nobody's jumping around. Look at this. People are usually rushing. Nobody's going crazy with the jumping. Everybody's just like usually staying on the floor. So I'm telling you, like along the way when I'm seeing more gameplays, I can kind of feel like the Black Ops 2 similarity is just that the jumping is just there. You know, maybe it's just it's just the decoration. I'm not sure, but you know, will I take my words back about all the stuff that I said about Black Ops 3? I don't take it back though. I still kind of hate that they added the jumping thing. I mean, they really, really don't need that. So, yeah, that is the one thing that I wanted, that I want removed from the game. But as far as I know, not a lot of people are jumping that high, because most of the time you gotta. In this map, like around maybe like around 30% of the time, you'll be inside a building. But it's not because of that. It's maybe it's because people have learned that jumping does not make you a lot faster or something. I'm not sure what's going on here. Another thing is that uh, I told you guys to stay in the middle of the map. This person did the same thing. It's just that, um, you know, he fucked up under the bridge. You should be moving around because sometimes you can hit glitch on those ramps. I've done it before in some other game. I forgot which one. I'm not sure if it was Black Ops 2 or Call of Duty Ghost where I would like, have, to have the time hit glitch on the, when it comes down to those kind of like arrangements in the middle of the battlefield. So, um, yeah. So kudos to this guy for using the automatic, automatic weapon because this is what you're supposed to be using. I mean, look at this. Back to back kills. You don't have to be clicking the R2 or the shooting button. Just take out everybody. See? You see what happens? This guy has a three round burst pistol. And he couldn't get shit. So actually the another pistol. Eh. It's a 50-50 with that thing. Sometimes it could be good from short range. Like I remember... Back on Black Ops 2, the three-round pistol, a pistol, I mean, sorry, I got stuck there. I need a little bit of water, that's what I need. Um, the three-round pistol, which was the, um, the Buffalo? I forgot the name of it. But, um, you know, that pistol was pretty much well done. Like, I admit, it, every single pistol from Black Ops 2 were freaking badass. They, they have to be, like, the 5.7. Oh, man, that thing was a, was a nice, foul-looking weapon. Like, the foul from... You know, from, from Black Ops 2, it was so similar to the 5.7 because they both killed instantly. So, yeah, it was a good pistol. Also, but I was going to tell you guys that the best strategy to play on this map, you know, was to stay in the middle and also run on the sides. But there's only one side which is pretty much well done. Like, there's a wall in the middle of the freaking map, but that was not connected to the floor. So, if you go through that wall when it comes down to domination or kill confirm. You can sneak up behind the enemy lines, and I'm telling you right now, from all the gameplays that I saw from uh, Black Ops 2 and this map, nobody's using that wall. So, when it comes down to day number one, like you see right now on the screen, there's that wall right there on the left side, or it's on the right side. I'm not sure where it is. If I can get like an easy... Oh, it's on the left side. Never mind. It's on the left side, or the right side. Oh, the right side? Oh, I can't see. 
But there's this wall that's not connected to the floor, and you go through that wall like half of the time, like in the beginning of the match, you should be able to sneak up behind the enemy lines. Like, no problem. Because like one out of seven people are actually using that shortcut. So, for me, I'm, I'm just going to call it a shortcut because it's not connected to the floor. So, it could be a very useful, you know, place to like sneak around with. So, it will it will be kind of awesome to use when it comes down to, real, to the real stuff. So this person went 29 and 6. Man, you're good. I'm telling you. Automatics will always... What the fuck just happened there? Did it, somebody just draw from the air? That's kind of weird. And look at this looking P90 weapon. This is just kind of weird. <sighs> Can't wait to use that weapon because it looks super, super similar to the P90. So that is it, guys. Leave a like on the video if you guys want to see more Black Ops 3. What the hell? Is that a robot?